Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. There is something I speak to someone about kind of often. Maybe not so much now, but before I think I did. There may be a time where you may have to go through hard times. How can I say this? There may be a time to where you may have to die for your faith, allegiance, and God. So what if someone comes to you place a gun to your head and tell you, hey, deny Jesus Christ or die. Now, what would you do? Would you get scared, which I think many of us probably would. Would you get scared? Not only that, but say that or deny Jesus Christ. And let's say that person let you go free. But what if after you denied Jesus Christ, what if that person kills you anyway? So if someone tells you, you either deny Jesus Christ or get shot in the head, or get your neck slit, which I don't want that to happen to me, either deny Jesus Christ or go through those things, what would you do? See, I believe there is a large chance of that person killing you anyway. Look now, if you are ever placed in a situation as that, I guess, and I am not trying to sound whatever, but you are already dead. If someone has a gun to your head, just what I am trying to say, just, I guess you can pray about it, but just accept that you are already dead. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? Because denying Jesus Christ is not an option. And you may say to me, Kevin, it is really easy for you to say that because you are at home and on the video just speaking. Okay. Isn't it a very high risk in denying Jesus Christ? Because if you get afraid, which probably would be very normal to get afraid. But if you get afraid and deny Jesus Christ because you don't want to get shot in the head or you don't want to get your neck slit or whatever else like that. And if you deny Jesus Christ anyway, then die anyway. How bad of an eternity you are going to have? Is it really worth it? Yes, probably getting shot in the head may be painful for however long you may have to feel it. Yes, getting your neck slit or whatever else may be painful temporarily, right? Temporarily. But imagine being in hell. Imagine being cast in the lake of fire. 
I think you will experience experience more pain in those places than your temporary pain, I believe, that you may feel from dying on this earth, from whatever type of violent whatever. Listen now. There may be a time to where we may have to go through stuff like that. If someone pulls out a gun on you, look, I don't want to get shot in the head. I don't want to get my neck slit. I don't want to die in a painful way. I don't. But when it comes down to you either deny Christ or die, hey, it is, to, it is time to die, right? It is time to die. Because denying Christ, I believe there are huge consequences for that. I don't want to do that. It is time to die. Yes, I may pray to myself, God, please help me, blah, 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 blah. I may not answer that person right away, but ultimately I am not going to deny Jesus Christ. Because if I do it, then get killed anyway. Ah, oh, man, what's the point, man? Too big of a risk, too large. So never, ever, ever deny Christ, Jesus Christ. Yes, you may feel pain before you die all the way. Yes, but imagine feeling so much pain in hell, then the lake of fire for denying Christ. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to the lake of fire. So I guess my choice is easy, but maybe scary, but ultimately the choice is easy, right? Kevin, you are talking all big because you haven't gone through it. This is something I have thought about for so long. Like, what if, you know, I am something like, what if I am approached by a person, deny Christ or die? And I thought about something like that for so long. And look now, I believe we are on this earth to be tested. So we are not here in this existence to live forever. So either I die then, or ultimately I believe I am going to die at some point. So if I am approached in that manner, it is time to die, right? I pray this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.